As we learn more about the COVID-19 virus, doctors are discovering details about just how it kills. And as CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprasha tells us, doctors now say a simple piece of technology may give us advanced warning about when you have the virus. The hospitals in New York City have been inundated with COVID-19 patients, and it's there that doctors have discovered more about how the virus kills. It creates a low oxygen condition. This disease kills by silent hypoxia, and patients should understand that shortness of breath is a late sign. Prior to being hospitalized for shortness of breath, he says, patients felt fine because their bodies didn't realize their oxygen was being cut off. With this disease, is people's brains are working fine. Their oxygen levels have gone down to scary low levels, but it has happened slow enough that their body has accommodated it. But this inexpensive device called a pulse oximeter can give you a warning that you're infected before the symptoms show. You just turn this little button on and you put it on your finger and within about 10 seconds or so, it displays your heart rate and your oxygen level. The devices vary in price, anywhere from $16 to $300 or more. But finding them at local stores is becoming problematic because lots of folks are buying them. You can order them from a medical supply house, but it's going to take a few days to get one that way. And for the next 12 to 24 months, that the public should think of an oximeter the way they do a thermometer. It is a, a tool that they can have at their home that they can check and that they can call up their doctor and say, hey, my pulse oximeter is reading consistently at this number. Is that something I need to be concerned about? There are also smartphone versions of the device available. This one that I'm showing is for an Android phone. It gives you results in about 30 to 35 seconds. But Dr. Levitan told me he is not sure how accurate they are because he says he's never used a smartphone version. Dr. Levitan spent 10 days volunteering in New York City hospitals, and he said physicians there learned that early treatments result in the best outcomes and that patients shouldn't be worried about going to the ER before they get to the point of shortness of breath. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprager.